Hello, everyone. Welcome to participate today's online forum of peace, love, and human rights, which is in response to the International Month of Love and Peace. Nowadays, we are facing very intense, very tense situation, which caused by COVID-19, international politics, economy, energy limitation, and so on. To face this situation, it's very important for people to have positive belief. I think love and peace is one of important belief in our mind. But how to maintain this belief? I think the conscience can guide us and the justice can also let us to keep the positive belief to face the harsh environment like now. So our topic today is the voice of justice. Talking about the justice, there is a landmark case in Taiwan, the Tai Chi Minh tax case, has not been rehabilitated for 25 years. It has attracted attention from many experts, scholars, and people. If you are not familiar with this case, then you must watch the upcoming video. Tai Chi Minh Qigong Academy and the Action Alliance to Redress 1219 have sought justice from Taiwan's government through live protests and virtual forums. Stop violating Tai Chi Minh human rights! So the Tai Chi Minh Qigong Academy case started in 1996 and it was persecution on spiritual groups and Tai Chi Minh Qigong Academy was caught in the crossfire of all of that. Despite the Supreme Court of Taiwan's rulings that we're innocent and tax-free, a few rogue bureaucrats continue to send us tax bills and even just last year in 2020, our land was illegally auctioned off. The Tai Chi Minh case has also garnered support from scholars around the world. And in Taiwan, the long-running attack against the Tai Chi Minh community by bureaucratic despots within the tax administration have led many religious freedom experts around the world to condemn this form of administrative religious persecution. The abuse of the National Tax Bureau has lasted for almost a quarter of a century. I call upon the Taiwan government to honor the law, the sentences passed by its judges, and the moral responsibility it has to watch over and protect all its citizens equally, as determined by its own mandate. A breakthrough in the case occurred when the principal witness, on whom the prosecutor based his tax evasion accusation against Taiji Men, told a journalist that the prosecutor oversaw the case and that the witness testimony was merely a formality. <laughs> The witness revealed that illegal tax bills were issued to Taiji Men at the request of the Investigation Bureau's city field office. Shi Ye Sheng accepted this interview when seriously ill and revealed that he was pressured to do what the prosecution told him to do. Although he has since passed away, Tai Jimin is hopeful that his testimony will provide the evidence needed to obtain justice. It proves that what happened was not a mistake. There was no mistake. It was a deliberate framing of Tai Jimin for obscure motivations through false documents, false accusations, and a false tax investigation that never happened. Now, if this is not enough to reopen the Taiji Men case and uh, cancel the 1992 tax bill, give back to Taiji Men their sacred land, I don't know what more is needed. It's a general principle of the law all over the world that when new elements emerge, even uh, final decisions can and should be revised. Revision is a fundamental principle of justice. 
So far this year, the Action Alliance to Redress 1219 has presented messages to representatives from TECRO, the Taiwan Economic and Cultural Representative Office in San Francisco and Washington, D.C. We're Taijiman members in the United States. We conveyed our message to Taiwan's representative Lai in San Francisco. We have just conveyed our message to Taiwan's representative Xiao in the D.C. So far, there has been no response, but the Taijiman Qigong Academy and the Action Alliance to Redress 1219 continue their activism in person and online, where scholars continue to voice their support for the cause. The government of Taiwan should do the right thing and eliminate the tax from 1992, which is just absurd considering what has happened for 1991 and the other years, and to restore the property that was unlawfully seized. The difference with Taiji men is that they fight. And perhaps it's not too much to say that they're fighting to preserve Taiwan as a democratic country that follows its own laws and stifles corruption in bureaucracy. Justice for Taiji men for human rights! From the video, you can see that many people are paying attention to and supporting Tai Chi Minh test case, not only in Taiwan, but also on international. They're calling on the Taiwan government to face the problem squarely and resolve it actively. Today, we also invite several guests from various fields to share their voice of justice for this case. Let's welcome them. Ting Yu, Alice, Li Xue, and Johnny. Hi everyone, welcome to participate today's forum. So first, let's welcome Ting Yu to share her speaking. Thank you, Samantha. Hello everyone, my name is Ting Yu and my Tai Chi Men Zi. At the age of three, my mom introduced me to Tai Chi Men. Every time when I listen to my brothers and sisters sharing on their story with my Shifu, Dr. Tong Dao to spread love and peace to different countries. I watched the videos hearing the sound of love and peace bell run by world influential leaders and seeing people's bright smiling faces at each event held by Tai Chi Men. My heart was always grown up instantly. With my service guidance, I realized that love and peace are just a thought away. A heart full of love can enlighten the hearts of others. When more hearts are illuminated and everyone follows the guidance of conscience, World peace is not far away. This serene and positive energy is what Tai Chi Men has been continuously bringing to this society. However, in my high school years, I learned a cruel fact that Tai Chi Men had been persecuted by unscrupulous officials for a long time. Tai Chi Men case began with a prosecutor Ho Kuan Ren's illegal persecution under the name of religious crackdown a political purge in 1996 in Taiwan. Then the National Taxation Bureau directly issued illegal taxes based on the prosecutor's host illegal indictment and on investigated falsified amounts. After 11 years, the criminal division of Supreme Court declared all the defendants in Tai Chi Minh case not guilty of fraud, tax evasion, or violations of tax codes and other defendants were awarded national compensation in 2009. There was no taxation problem at all. But still, the MBT disregarded the court's decision and didn't revoke the tax bills. During my graduate school years, I watched some forums and programs where many experts and scholars sharing their experiences and perspectives on Taiwan's taxation problems. Gradually, I recognized that Tai Chi Minh case was like a demon revealing mirror, highlighting the flaws of Taiwan's bureaucratic tax system. It is hard to believe that in a so-called democratic country drawn by law, some unscrupulous officials in MBT can issue the tax bills without evidence and do criminal acts to cover up their mistakes without being punished. Ridiculously, these few officials can even get bonuses on the illegal tax bills. Accordingly, if the tax system is not reformed, many people will be suffering from the tax abuse. So I started to express my demands through street protests and street promotion in the hopes that more people would become aware of Taiwan's poor tax environment and urge the government to reform as soon as possible. 
In recent years, many experts and scholars in domestic and foreign countries have been voicing advertising men. For example, Canada's Jack Cobson, a former President Clinton's consultant, in indicated that there are numerous violations of the law in the procedure of title and case, and he called upon President Tsai to solve it immediately. However, the MBT remained indifferent and turned out to team up with the administrative enforcement agency to illegally auction the Holy Land of Tai Chi Mun on August 21st last year. And that day, I was at the scene during the entire unlawful auction process when the official announced the auction process had been legally closed and the land had been nationalized. My heart was broken, feeling like being robbed, but I could do nothing at that moment. Taijima case is a fake case fabricated by Ho Kuan Zhen from the beginning. He staged this fake drama and MBT played it outrageously. Even with all the clear evidence, the Taijima case still couldn't be rectified after 25 years. Then how about individuals without any resources? There's an old Chinese saying, conscious reflects the law of heaven. No one can escape the ultimate judgment by heaven. Here, I sincerely call upon the authority to correct the mistakes from rejecting Taijiman case. And it is also necessary for the government to abolish tax bonus and administrative execution bonus system for officials, as well as establish a clear mechanism to punish illegal officials. According to Ambert, Albert and Einstein, the world will not be destroyed by those who do evil, but by those who watch them without doing anything. I am willing to stand up and speak up for Titan Lin case until the day it is truly resolved. And I'd like to encourage everyone here to supervise the government to do the right thing. With the joint efforts, I believe we can help Taiwan move forward the path of the truth, democracy, and freedom. Thank you for your listening. Thank you, Ting Yu. Yes, don't be silent. Everyone should stand up for injustice so that the justice can really be demonstrated instead of being a slogan. In Chinese, we have a saying, yan jiao bu ru shen jiao, which means that it's very important to lead by example with real active rather than words. How to harmony the knowledge and action is a very important task, not only for teachers and parents, but also the government. Next, let us welcome Alice, which is a teacher, and she's going to share her voice of justice with perspective of teaching. Good evening, everyone. I'm Alice. I'm a teacher teaching kids age eight to 12. In teaching, observation is very important because it allows us to understand students' needs and provide effective assistance. In the course of the observations, I discovered that in addition to the child's innate personality, the child's surroundings and family background are significant influences. I've met a lot of students who refuse to admit when they're making mistakes and insist that they're right. For example, there was a little boy. He wrote the wrong answer on his assignment. However, he spent 10 minutes crying and arguing his answer was correct rather than one minute correcting it. Besides, I've also met a kid. Whenever he disagreed with other students, he ran to the window and yelled that he was going to jump out of the building or even threatened to kill his classmates. After having a thorough understanding, I discovered that most of these kids come from dysfunctional families. It's obvious that parents play an important role in the family. If the parents' behavior or thoughts are not proper, it will be a negative impact on the children. Likely, the head of each government or agency is its parents. If the leader doesn't behave properly and legally, there might be a lot of problems in the organization. We've all heard some news about government officials who didn't do things according to the laws and violated people's rights. Some of them even refused to admit or apologize after their wrongdoings were exposed. The former Minister of Finance, Zhang Shenhe, reintroduced the capital gains tax. It caused a loss of 2.2 trillion anti dollars in value in Taiwan stock market. The national coffers lost 55 billion anti dollars in stock transaction taxes that year. When the contrarian pointed on that, 
his wrong policy is worse than corruption. And the legislators urge him to apologize to the public. He simply said, no apologies. Besides, for tax purposes, he has also used whiteout to change official document dates and forcibly auctioned the people's assets with the forged document. His doings were exposed after the victim filed an administrative complaint in court, and he quickly refunded the illegal execution money to the victim under the guise of a tax rebate. In addition, the contrarian has also pointed out that prosecutor Ho Kwan Ren had eight major violations of law, including violation of private investigation, illegal search, and exceeding legal authority when he was handling Tai Chi Man case. But he was not punished at all because the high prosecutor office proclaimed that the 10 year disciplinary statute of limitation has expired. Surprisingly, he even got promoted as the deputy director general of the agency against corruption years ago. However, the tax case originating from the criminal case continues to afflict Tai Chi Man Dizi. It's been 25 years and it's not over. President of the Coordination of Associations and Individuals for Freedom of Conscience once said that Tai Chi Man case had revealed fundamental flaws in the rule of law and the power of the state had been misused or even abused. Government officials violated many due process provisions in this case. In order to achieve the tax performances, they do not care about people's rights. For those immoral officials, an official document might be nothing but a piece of paper. However, for the people, it could easily be taken away their property or even lives. As a teacher, when students make mistakes, I always tell them to see the error of their ways and apologize and remind themselves not to make the same mistakes again. As a Taiwanese citizen, I also hope that when government officials make mistakes, they can admit their wrongdoings, apologize, and solve the problems. Taiwan's current government has pushed many positive improvements. Last year, with the effective anti-epidemic measures, people in Taiwan lived a relatively stable life for another year, but there is still a large space for improvement in judicial and taxation system of our country. In the family, Parents' thoughts and behaviors have strong influence on their children, just as it does in the family. The thoughts and behaviors of the superior deeply influence their subordinates and Taiwanese. Here, we urge all government officials to do everything according to the laws and conscience and truly put themselves in the shoes of the people when making policies and decisions. Thank you. Thank you, Alice. It's very important to admit, admit mistake and correct them, not only for children and adults, but also the government, which has to lead the country should do the same. How the government act and make the decisions for the sake of the people is very important. When the people live and work in a state of happiness and satisfaction, then there is a hope for the development of this country. The technology industry is now a very important field to support Taiwan's economy. So next, we would like to invite an engineer from the technology industry to share his view. Let's welcome Johnny. Hello everyone, I'm Johnny. I'm a hardware engineer in Shinju Science Park. Eight years ago, my family recommended me to join Tai Chi Man to practice Qigong. In Tai Chi Man, our Shifu told us Qigong to improve our mind. Through daily practice Qigong, I got a healthy body. In addition, our Shifu also told us the wisdom of yin and the yang to balance our mind and makes me happier in my work. I remember that when my little kids was born, my friends were worried about that I would be tired, could not sleep enough since I need to take care of my kids. But I found that things were not as terrible as they said, because the daily practice Qigong makes me full of energy. And at the same time, meditation helps me to clear my thinking and stabilize my emotions. So during working with my colleagues, even if there are conflicts due to different opinions, I'm less likely to lose my temper. 
and everything will go smoothly. So it's hard to imagine if I joined Taijiman 25 years ago, how could I withstand these up and downs during the Taijiman case? At that time of Taijiman case, although I had no personal experience about that, as long as I thought about it, I will feel so sad if so many brothers and sisters have suffered. I know that some brothers and sisters have tolerated sarcastic comments from their family and friends for a long time because of the Taijiman case. Moreover, some brothers and sisters died of depression because of this. I don't understand why such a good place have been innocent hurt by the religion's anti-criminal operation for 25 years, and it even not stopped yet. Over these years, I have observed the IRS of Taiwan has not followed the law and the evidence to illegally impose taxes on Taijima. First, all the official evidence proves the teacher's salute is a gift, including the third instance criminal judgment, the Spring Administrative Court's decision, and the IRS announcement investigation. But the IRS completely ignores it and continues to pursue taxes on Taijiman. Second, Taijiman has been established for 50 years, but the IRS has only imposed taxes on 1992, which is neither legal nor logical. Third, the IRS has never imposed taxes on other martial arts and religion groups, but treated Taijiman differently violating the principle of equality. During the persecution these years, our Shifu not only told us wisdom, but also compassion. He did not stop his ideas. He not only promotes the legal and the tax reform movement in Taiwan, and also lead us to spread love to the world, travel to hundreds of countries, spread the concept of love and peace and the broader concept to the world in order to achieve world peace. Tajiman contributes to the country and brings the energy of peace to the world. Why is such a high quality group subject to continuous persecution by government? It can be seen that under a test system without the rule of law, the victimized people cannot fight back here. I call on all people to pay attention and face this problem together. In 2020, there will be 14.3 million enforcement cases of tax arrears and fees in Taiwan. So no one is an outsider anymore. Let's work together, reform the tax legal tax system and use conscience to save Taiwan's future. Thanks for listening. Thank you, Johnny. Indeed, no one is an outsider. If a bad tax system is not corrected, maybe you or I will be next victim. Actually, as I know, even a professor of law has been victimized by this tax system. So any system and decision made by the government have a major impact on the people and even international situation. Next, we would like to invite Li Xue, who has lived abroad for a long time, to talk to us about her views from an international perspective. Thank you, Samantha. Hello, everyone. I'm Li Xue Tsai. As an international volunteer for Association of World Citizens, I often attend international conferences of human rights and the United Nations NGO conferences. In early June this year, the Standing Committee on Canadian Heritage of Canadian House of Commons has made September 30th today, the first federal statutory holiday for the National Day of Truth and Reconciliation to commemorate the dark history of the indigenous Indians who suffered cultural extinction. For 120 years, since the British colonial period, Canada's government had set up a boarding school system for indigenous Indians, forcing their children between the ages of five and 16 to board at Christian church schools. 
to leave their families, eradicate their ties with the mother tongue and culture with the purpose of assimilating the indigenous Indians into Canadian culture. During their stay in the boarding schools, the children suffered violence, sexual abuse, disease infections, and malnutrition. At least 6,000 indigenous children died in the boarding schools. The colonial policy has resulted in a high proportion of mental illness, drugs and alcohol abuse, and a high suicide rate among the indigenous Indians and caused them irreparable trauma. In 2008, the indigenous Indians established the Truth and Reconciliation Commission and the National Center for Truth and Reconciliation was established in 2015. The genocide evil deed of the colonial boarding school system was finally confirmed. Former Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Harper and the current Prime Minister Justin Trudeau constantly and formally apologized to the indigenous Indians for the tragedy. This reminds me of the world famous Tai Chi Man text case in Taiwan, which has lasted for 25 years and is still ongoing. It also involves the government's abuse of public power to persecute the religious minority on their culture and human rights and freedom of belief. Tai Chi Man is a Qigong martial arts and self-cultivation spiritual group for more than 50 years. Being self-funded, Tai Chi Man master Dr. Hong Daozi, together with his disciples have visited 101 countries to promote the peace culture based on love and conscience worldwide through cultural experience exchanges. Tai Chi Man has won international recognition as goodwill ambassador of peace. However, this cultural group was illegally prosecuted by prosecutor Ho Kuan Ren in 1996. Taiwan's National Taxation Bureau used an unverified indictment to accuse Tai Chi Man as a crime school, imposed unjustified taxes on Tai Chi Man and penalized them heavily with the purpose of exterminating Tai Chi Man. In 2007, the Supreme Court found Tai Chi Man not guilty and had no tax arrears. And those who were illegally detained also received state's compensation for unjust detentions and convictions. But the tax bureau remains issuing illegal tax bills to Tai Chi Man in 2020 after the tax bureau and administrative enforcement agency failed to auction off Tai Chi Man's sacred lands illegally. The government confiscated the lands. Both Canada's and Taiwan's governments made mistakes in the past regarding the colonial policy. As Perry Bellegarde, Canadian National Chief of the Assembly of the First Nations mentioned, this is self-destruction, the destruction of families, communities, and our country. In Tai Chi Man case, Taiwan's control yuan also found Prosecutor Ho and the National Taxation Bureau committed major violations. However, when the truth was revealed, Canada's government started a dialogue between the per perpetrator and the victim, a new relationship of reconciliation. But for 25 years, after finding the truth, Taiwan's control union, the Tradi Traditional Justice Commission, and the National Human Rights Commission have done nothing to the violation of the Tai Chi Man case. They allow rogue bureaucrats to dismantle Tai Chi Man and ignore Tai Chi Man's culture and human rights and freedom of belief but protected by the two international covenants. Kenneth Jacobson, a professor of law at the Philadelphia's Temple University and an advisor to former President Clinton, who has studied the Tai Chi Man case for years, calls upon Taiwan's president to fix the mistakes of the past, he said, to allow errors to continue to perpetuate mistakes that were made in the past is as bad, if not worse, the committing those mistakes in the first place. This is a travesty. It is a tragedy too. I want to call upon Taiwan's government to face up to the truth, reconcile with the victims and have the courage to admit mistakes and through the redress of Tai Chi Man's case to implement transitional, transitional justice and to demonstrate the true demo democracy and rule of law in Taiwan. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Thank you, Li Xue. I hope that Taiwan government can learn from this Canadian case, be brave to face the mistake and do the right things, so that Tai Chi Man test case can be rehabilitated and obtain a belated apology. Dear Taiwan government, 
not only the Taijiman Dizi and the people in Taiwan, but also all over the world are concerned about the Taijiman text case. We are, we are watching that how Taiwan government will handle the Taijiman text case. The pe I think the people in power should hear the voice from the people, which is the voice of justice, especially today. And everyone who is watching online right now is welcome to share today's forum or our channel with your friends so that more people can pay attention to this issue. When everyone start to pay attention to this injustice issue and discuss how to correct it and prevent these mistakes in future, the justice can really be implemented and people no longer in pain, we will have more power and capability to help more people in the world. Let the positive energy of love and peace be passed out. Now, I would like to invite all the guests to take a photo together as a report. Let's do a gesture of justice, like a picture at the right corner. So everyone who is watching this forum online, please, please join us in uh, making this gesture also, or you can leave some words or picture to represent your insistence of justice. So next I will say one, two, three. Then everyone say voice of justice. Ready? One, two, three. Voice, voice of, of justice. justice. Okay. I hope our voice today can be heard by more and more people. Thanks for all the guests. Today's forum comes to the end here. Uh, for more related information and report, please search act1219.org. Also, welcome to subscribe our channel, leave a like, and turn on the bell. Thank you for today's participate. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.